How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some cheap promo cards as you can see right here from the many, many links that I have. Um, first up though, I do want to apologize if I do sound a bit off, I'm currently sick as fudge and I do not feel well at all, so I hope to get through this rather quickly, and if I do cut away it's because I have to cough or blow my nose, so on and so forth. Anywho's, let's get on with the first card right here, as you can already see, the Mew EX from the Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection. A card that I really wasn't sure about when it first was released. It has been growing on me and I am really really liking this card. Um, it's actually a little bit more expensive over here in Europe. Um, you can have one for about 7 euros 45, 750. That's around the price you will have to pay for one. Um, if you're in the in the US, it's gonna be way way cheaper for you. So lucky you. Um, right here, like 550 with shipping, um, five with shipping. So a little bit cheaper over in the US and a really 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 cool card in my opinion. Also, you are way better off just buying this card and for that matter, the the golden copy and the Mewtwo. Just buy the promo card from the 151 collection instead of opening one because even though I got very lucky like pull rates for 151 are atrocious mainly because of the seeding but there we are with this awesome Mew card. Next up is this Pikachu promo, fitting for the start of the Scarlet and Violet era. In Europe it's currently available for about 275 um, over in the US though, once again a little little bit cheaper. Um, you can get one for two dollars, if you order more than, than 50 dollars worth of stuff you get free shipping. Uh, maybe this guy has some other cards that you want to, want to buy. Um, with shipping though you're looking at three dollars twenty seven. Like a really really amazing card. I love this illustration. I do have where I had a Japanese copy which graded very very poorly. Still have no idea why. And this illustration is really really nice. I really really love this card. So many cool Pokemon. As you know I do love illustration that feature more than one Pokemon in the illustration. And those were probably the ones that were modern. Um, all the cards from here on out are gonna be X and Y era promos, which I had no idea were still that cheap. As you can see right here, we have the Celebi X and Y promo. Really, really amazing card. Over in Europe, we, we have a copy available for around 11 to 12 euros and then over for you people in the US. Once again, way, way cheaper over in the US right here for 655 once again if you order more than 50 or right here for almost seven dollars with shipping included so a lot a lot cheaper over in in the us next up we have this rc right here another really stunning um, illustration currently available for around 13 euros um, there is another illustration from the x and y era which is this rc is right here um, unfortunately this one in a good condition and in english i feel like this is gonna be more expensive way more expensive like 25 and i feel like that's not worth it for the card when you can have this one which is almost just as cool as the other one for way cheaper um, so we'll forget about this promo. Over in the US right here, um, once again a little bit cheaper, it looks like with shipping about $10 for a near mint copy. Really, really amazing stuff. I'm actually curious about the price. Okay, seems like an up and down. It seems to have kind of settled here for now. Um, we'll see how this develops, I'm actually really curious. The X and Y era was really, really long ago, so I'm, as I've said in the beginning, I'm really surprised how cheap most of these cards still are. Um, staying at the topic of the Generation 4 Legendary Pokemon, um, we have the Dialga right here, the Lord of Time. Do check out this illustration, I can actually show it on the picture, man, check out this illustration. That looks so, so nice, that illustration, all of these do. The Dialga available for around 15 euros. Over in the US, things look once again, who would have thought, a little bit cheaper right here for around 11 dollars including shipping. Really, really amazing stuff. Look at that plummet right here. I say plummet, it went from 13 dollars 50 to like 12 dollars 50. That's a, that's a 1 dollar plummet, man. Right here we have the Palkia. This illustration isn't nearly as cool as the Dialga. 
Still a really amazing card. Of course, you have the Latios in the background featured right here. I um, mean, Euro it's around 20. This is for sure way, way cheaper in the US. You have to pay around $12 for this card if you're in the US. I feel like a lot of cards, especially from these older sets and eras, are way, way cheaper in the US than they are in Europe. I mean, that goes for most most um, things. Other than the the Pikachu with Grey Felted. I feel like this is going to be really, really expensive um, in in the US. But anywho, uh, the topic of this video is of course promo cards or X and Y promo cards. Um, next up we have this Darkrai. Another really, really stunning illustration. If I can find a picture right here. Dude, check this one out. Illustrated by Kavayo which you might know from the Lugia alternate art from Silver Tempest. Really, really great stuff. And over in Europe, you have one for 10 euros, you have another one for 12, seems about right there is where the price settled. Over in the US, once again, who would have thought way, way cheaper? $5.77, we have $6 with included shipping. Man, these cards are way cheaper in the US. You, you guys have a good over there. Um, next up, we have this Manifer, a really, really happy Pokemon, and once again, featuring a lot, a lot of different Pokemon in the background. We have this Love Disc, we have the, what is this, a, um, a Fion, like the quote-unquote pre-evolution of Manaphy, which can't actually evolve into Manaphy, it's like, it's like this weird thing. It's, um, and it's also under, underwater, fitting for Manaphy, of course. Really, really amazing stuff. Um, this one isn't as readily available in Europe as, this, as it turns out. There's one for $12.70 or $67, and then the next one is like around $20, so I feel like this is going to be gone pretty, pretty soon. Over in the US on, on TCG Player, we have a copy sold with shipping included for around $9, so once again, way cheaper. Um, Next up is the Kelio. We're moving on a generation. We're, we're going away from generation 4 and we're now moving on to generation 5, I want to say. I hope I did I did get the generation correct. We have Kelio right here. Really, really cheap. Of course, in, in Europe and in the US, really cheap card. Um, right here for about 5 euros or one copy for 6 euros over on TCG Player right here. We can see it's a little bit cheaper, not as much as the other cards, mind you. Um, we have one for 455, or I guess with shipping it's 554. So really, really great stuff. I mean, if you just order stuff for more than five dollars, you get free shipping, so that might be worth it. Um, really, really cool card. Um, here is the Latios that I actually haven't featured, just because I'm seeing it right here. This one, in my opinion, is way too expensive. It is okay quote unquote in the US so if you're in the US I think this card is really really cool it goes well together with the with the Palkia artwork as you can see right here they kind of have the same theme um, over in Europe though I can tell you this card is really really expensive so if you're in Europe I wouldn't recommend buying this card but if you're in in the US I say go for it there we go, okay, it took a little second to load it's also illustrated by Naoki Saito which is a really really great artist um Lovely, lovely stuff for this one, but yeah, this is this isn't really featured. Next up, we have this Victini right here, available for around five, five to six euros. Also, a really, really cute card, lovely illustrated. Over on TCG Player, though, a little bit cheaper for around with shipping four dollars. But here we go. If you have more than five dollars in an order, you get free shipping anyways. Maybe you can find some more cards in this shop. Um, really, really lovely, lovely stuff. Um, here we have the Meloetta, also available for around 5 to 6 euros over in Europe. And over in the US, you're in luck again, a little bit cheaper. We have $4.39, or like $5.41 with shipping. Um, not, once again, not as cheap as the other ones, like the discrepancy the, the between the, the Diaga, for example, that was way, way bigger. Still an awesome pickup, in my opinion definitely deserves to be in in your collection next up we have the reshiram and then moving on with the zekrom fitting for the black and white and black and white 2 era of pokemon this reshiram right here available for 12 to 15 euros and the illustration man the illustration check this one out this one looks so lovely and it is illustrated by mitsuhiro arita the man the myth the legend himself really really lovely stuff 
um, over in in the US on TCG Player. Once again, way, way cheaper. It looks like you can get a copy for around $10, including shipping. Near Mint as well, so this is, this is great stuff. Of course, we can't have a Reshiram without a Zekrom, so here we have a Zekrom. Not in the same art style as the Reshiram, I don't like it as much as the, as the Reshiram artwork. This does go well together with the Palkia I showed earlier and with the Latios. So these cards like go together very, very well, I feel like. This one currently available for around 17 euros in, in Europe and in the US. Once again, a little bit cheaper, not as much as the other ones, but here we are. $15 for, for this card with shipping included. An awesome pickup to be sure. And the last two cards right here are actually cards from the Black and White 2 era, for that matter. We have Black Curem, available for around 13 to 15 euros. And then we have White Curem, also available for around... 13 or 14 to 15 euros and then of course on tcg player if you're over in the us they are a little bit cheaper right here you have one you have the um the black curem for around eight dollars and then the white curem for around eight dollars fifty these cards i like these cards because they go together very very well i feel like this one also the black curem in particular is illustrated once again by mitsuhiro arita and there's just something about his artworks, but they always look so top-notch. Man, oh man. This is, this is very, very awesome. Now here's just something that I wanted to mention real quick. I know I don't suggest you buy this card right now. I feel like this card is going to be printed into Oblivion by the Pokemon Company. I mean, hey, we've just had a hundred thousand more copies for this card printed and look at how much the price went down we went for about 112 all the way down to 54 man it comes crushing now this is a beautiful thing to behold this spike right here now i don't know how expensive this card is over in the us i assume it would be very very pricey actually well more pricey than in europe since this is i don't want to say europe exclusive but mainly distributed in europe card so if you're over in the us you might have to wait a little bit longer to get yourself a a reasonably priced copy um, i know i won't be buying one for this price i still have my sealed copy from my from my Pokemon uh, Center order back in the day. So I'm very happy about that one. And I think once this card goes down to like around 20 euros or something like that, that's when I would consider buying it. But even then, that would be a stretch. I do feel like this might go down to 20 if they keep printing copies. And they have shown that they're definitely willing to print even more copies. Even so, that the, the Van Gogh museum over in Amsterdam now I think they they finally gave out copies of this card again after having initially to stop because of all the scalpers and all the craze and and so on I think the museum is now giving out copies again I'm not too sure about that but that just goes to show like how much the Pokemon combi now wants to wants to redeem themselves in a way if that makes sense I feel like we're gonna see another print run of this card in the near future, maybe towards the end of the year, like October, November. Maybe around that time is when we get another print print run of this card. I really do hope so. This card shouldn't be nearly as expensive as it is. The card should be available for everyone to buy for a reasonable price. Well, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this collecting on a budget video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then by all means, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here somewhere is the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I thank you all so very much for watching. Take care. Peace, peace.